parang the audience these days or, or the voters uh, uh, even uh, seem to be so m- more tolerant of scandalous behavior on the part of leaders. I mean, dyan lang sa US, no? I recall when um, Donald Trump was running for president, there was this tape where he was really uh, uh, speaking really uh, uh, abusively of, uh, about women, no? I mean, uh, about molesting women. No? He's talking about, uh, there was a lot of misogyny in his language, etc. And dito naman sa, sa Pilipinas, if you recall, I mean, when, when President, uh, when candidate Duterte Uh, was was running it. He was making rape jokes, uh, and I guess the more, I guess the more conservative, morally conservative among us, thought na these people are not going to win, you know, with with that kind of language, with that kind of behavior. Pero you know, they they won anyway, no? So parang nagbago rin yung nagbago ba yung values ng mga tao because of the social media or the internet or what used to disqualify candidates in in past elections and or campaigns uh, you know were, were, are no longer you know be you know enough to disqualify them today so actually misogyny is part of the strongman syndrome part of the attraction of the strongman is this mm-hmm. projection of male virility mm-hmm. and and so people who have studied this you know this is not new during the time of mm-hmm. mussolini during the time of hitler there was a lot of misogyny too and a lot of you know putting down of women And they say usually strong men arise at a time when women's rights are advancing. This was the case in the 1920s and the 1930s. This is certainly the case in many parts of the world from the 1960s. So there is like a backlash against feminism, against the assertion of, of, of women. And a lot of men feel very insecure. And they are art- actually <laughs> articulating a lot of the male, what they call here, the male fragility. Strong men are articulating that, you know, by being out against lesbians, by com- and and gays, by uh, and trans people, and by uh, putting down women, they they are actually giving vent to this insecure masculinity, this fragile masculinity, especially in an economic order where the skills of women are more prized, you know, women get more jobs in the service sector, you know, the brawny male jobs, manufacturing has declined. So the decline of male power, they are articulating that that insecurity about the decline of male power. And this is why they're popular, even among women. You know, I wanted to ask, no, I mean, doesn't that kind of behavior and language alienate like uh, half of the voting population who are women? I mean, or or is this kind of, Um, parang uh, yung abused women syndrome ba yun? <laughs> na, I think na... it's, it's abuse it, in a sense it's abuse women syndrome but also male power is very attractive it's very seductive and that's what they're riding on I mean when I'm watching the Duterte videos and when he's kissing a woman in an audience mm-hmm. and all the women there are watching they're applauding him I think it's this assertion of male power. It, it, it can be attractive to, to certain people. It puts certain people off. But, but, but in, in certain societies, we're still patriarchies, Catholic tradition and all of that. In patriarchal mm-hmm. societies, that's still seen as, as a sign of power. It's not seen as something icky or um, it does to us, mm-hmm. you know something how do you call it indecent you know? but it's mm-hmm. male virility is is still prized i mean you go mm-hmm. anywhere i mean this marcos mm-hmm. was seen as a virile you know the medals the strutting around with doobie beams you know when when <laughs> you know the, when when the up you know when people were playing the doobie beams yeah. and marcos <laughs> On the speaker, Marco singing Pamolina. When how do you think that played in Ilocos? That <laughs> that that didn't seem funny or you know to Ilocanos. And they're saying, "Wow, he's singing Pamilo, Pamolina went to an Americana actress <laughs> in bed, right? <laughs> that wasn't seen as as uh, macho. Seen or funny or it was seen as macho. Wow, yeah, it's yeah. conquering a mm. white woman. Yeah. Mm. Hi, I'm Howie Severino. Check out the Howie Severino podcast, an original for GMA News and Public Affairs. New episodes will stream every Thursday. Listen for free on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, and other platforms.